Hey good people, welcome back to another twid aka twab. This one is 10, 8, 10, 23 and let's get right up into it y'all. Alright, if you have not heard, Zavala aka Lance Reddick has been recasted, the voice actor. I put out a video about that and I'll put that video at the end card in case y'all want to know the details on that one alright. And let's keep on moving. <clears throat> All right, here's all the details, all of the tea on the exotic mission rotator coming in season 22. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? You got them ears open? Let's go. With season 22 right around the corner, we wanted to peel back the curtain. So here we go. What is it going to be? A home for seasonal exotic missions after the year has passed and a place where over time we can bring fan favorite Exotic missions back from the past. Looking at you, Zero Hour and Whisper. I'm waiting for y'all. It's going to be a source of seasonal exotic mission weapons and their catalysts, and a new and consistent source of legacy seasonal rewards. All right, so this was interesting, y'all. I didn't expect all this when I gave it my read through the novel that I do for y'all to break it down and make it easy for y'all. Yeah, I know. Something's in my eye. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so exotic weapons entering the playlist will become craftable. This is all of them. Each mission features a normal and legendary difficulty. Each mission features a pool of legacy seasonal rewards. This is armor and craftable weapons. So it's not just the exotic that have thematic overlap with their associated mission. Each mission features the same reward behavior mission dialogue and narrative move forward after each activity completion and reset after all dialogue sets have been played you heard that legacy triumphs cannot be progressed below is the list of exotic missions and their associated rewards that are available starting in season 22. these missions will rotate weekly and continue throughout the lightfall year and beyond we will be adding exotic missions that launch during lightfall seasons into rotation with the final shape and you can expect more additions to follow all right so here are the missions and here's gonna be all the loot that you get with them all right here we go presage exotic weapon of course dead man's tail is going to be craftable with a new trait pool it's gonna have armor and weapons from Season of the Chosen. Its seasonal weapons will be Nezarek's Whisper, Bump in the Night, Tears of Contrition, Hollow Denial, Fire Fright, and Without Remorse. For opulent weapons, it's also gonna have opulent weapons. It's gonna be Austringer, Drang Baroque, Beloved, Callous Mini Tool, Eidolon Pursuant Armor Set. So if you never got your hands on that Beloved, Mm -mm -mm. all right just so you know you know here's the red here's the red tape requires ownership of beyond light or season of the chosen <laughs> all right so box obscura is going to be in here of course exotic weapon dead messenger now dead messenger is going to be craftable with an additional trait armor and weapons from the season are going to be from season of the risen that's going to be explosive personality Recurrent Impact, Under Your Skin, Sweet Sorrow, Thoughtless, Peace of Mind, and it's going to have the Tust Allegiance armor set, you know the Kaido set? And it requires ownership of the Witch Queen or Season of the Risen. Um, for Operation Seraph Shield, it's going to be Revision Zero, you already know that. Still craftable, they didn't say anything about a new trait, so probably no new trait. Armor and weapons from Season of the Seraph, and the seasonal weapons are going to be Fire and Forget, Tripwire Canary, Disparity, Path of Least Resistance, Judgment of Kelgarath, and Retrofit Escapade. Yeah, if y'all didn't get that Retrofit Escapade, oof. Ikelos weapons as well. So that's the Ikelos hand cannon, shotgun, sniper rifle, SMG, and the Warmind's Avatar armor set. I like that armor set. All right, and this requires ownership of Witch Queen or Season of the Seraph. 
I, I gotta t I gotta let y'all know. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, weapon crafting rewards. All right, y'all gotta pay close attention because I kind of like what they did here, if it works right. First completion of the mission on normal or legendary difficulty will award the exotic deep sight weapon associated with the mission. Extracting or dismantling this deep sight weapon will grant the pattern, of course, right? Each completion of the normal or legendary version of the exotic mission will award an intrinsic upgrade that can be used when crafting the exotic weapon. So it's not a one and done thing. To unlock all the perks and traits, you're gonna have to keep playing it and completing it. Each completion of the legendary version of the exotic mission will award a catalyst upgrade for the crafted exotic weapon. All right, so that's the legendary. Armor and Weapon Rewards The normal and legendary versions of the missions have separate weekly reward lockouts. Weekly Mission Rewards You get one guaranteed, I said guaranteed deep sight weapon that has not had its pattern unlocked and a armor piece that has not already been obtained based on your current class. If all weapon patterns and armor have been obtained for the end rotation mission, a random world drop will be awarded. Mm hmm. Okay. On every completion, you will receive an additional weapon from the mission's pool. Uh, however, this weapon will have no knockout or or lockout. What that mean to say lockout? This weapon will have no knockout or guarantee. I I'm thinking lockout. <laughs> that wasn't my typo, okay? Or guaranteed deep sight behavior. The weapon can roll with deep sight, but this would be on a random percentage chance. All right. So, all right, let me finish it before we, 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 we get all up into it. Alongside the mission rewards, there was also a weekly challenge. This weekly challenge has the same armor and weapon pool as the exotic mission, which is in rotation. The challenge rewards will be output at pinnacle power and will prioritize the rewards in the following order. This was what I was I was paying attention to when I liked. You, if you finish the challenge, you are guaranteed one deep sight weapon that has not had its pattern unlocked. So you guaranteed one that you need. If weapon patterns have all been unlocked, the challenge will award one armor piece that has not been obtained based on your current class. If all weapon patterns and armor have been obtained for the in rotation mission, the challenge will output a random weapon or armor. Additionally, the exotic mission gives bonus progress for the Xenology quest from Zer. Four points for completing on normal difficulty and seven for completing on legendary. Mm hmm. So that's interesting, right? I, I like anything that they implement to help us get the bad RNG out of there because the RNG is horrible for me personally. You know how many helps I've done for the new dungeon and I still don't have the navigator? All right, y'all not here for all that. So let's keep going. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Bungie put out a developer insights post and recap. It's, it's, it's a thick one, a lot of info for the next two seasons. If y'all had not checked that out, please, the card, I'm going to put it. Here's the card somewhere. All right, check that out. All right, age gating changes on all Bungie services. If you use the apps or Bungie.net, pay attention, y'all. Starting on August 15th this year, of course, you will need underscore or, or underline need to sign in again and enter your birth date and country of origin or residence to use the services. They age gating out here, okay? All right. And the August 22nd Destiny 2 showcase is coming soon, all right? It's going to be on August 22nd, 9 a.m. PT. The pre show is at 8 a.m. PT. And it's going to be on Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, and Billy Billy. Billy Billy. Um, I, unless something crazy happens, I always watch it with y'all. So come hang out with me. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, good news for all PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium subscribers. If you got PlayStation Plus Extra or Premium, The Witch Queen will be joining the August 2023 PlayStation Plus game catalog for six months, starting on August 15th. So it's a little extra if you ain't got to pay for it. Uh, Season of the Deep ends on August 22nd, y'all, just so y'all know. Make sure you claim all your engrams and other rewards before the season begins. Any rewards not claimed from non-seasonal vendors, non-seasonal vendors, will be removed as soon as the new season starts. Here is the known issues on the screen. This Bungie's working on fixing these right now, in case you want to see those and take a look. And how do y'all feel about the weapon rotator list? Um, it was more than I thought they were gonna do. Maybe that's why I like the idea of it. And if you telling me you will bring back my two favorite missions ever, and you're gonna associate, you know, you're gonna put red borders in there aside, yeah, I'm down, I'm down. So I like that it looks like they didn't just say, hey, we'll just throw the, the things in there and let people play it on a weekly rotator. So that's my take. What do y'all think? Please tell me in the comments all your thoughts here. All your comments really do help me with the algorithm. Don't be skimping on the comments, y'all. Even put just a smiley face. Shoot, put a middle finger emoji down there if you want to. It still helps. <laughs> um, but love y'all. Please be safe. Likes and subs help as well. And I appreciate y'all. Have a good day. I'm out.